Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is Leap Motion. This is a motion controller, which actually works with Windows. Uh, it also is now compatible with a number of other devices, which includes any VR headset that works on Windows, so that includes Oculus Rift, HTC Vive, and in theory, Windows Mixed Reality headsets as well. So we got this out because I wanted to test out what it's like to use the Leap Motion controller. Now you've probably seen it because it's gone viral a little bit recently with a game called Cat Explorer which allows you to mess about with a cat and sort of do a 3D x-ray of it spin it around and look inside at all its different organs and take the skin off and the bones and stuff it's like pretty cool pretty interesting it's actually an experience a free experience there are a number of experiences available with the Leap Motion Controller at the moment it's it was originally released quite a few years ago uh, back in 2013 I believe and it's being improved upon as time goes on but it's really interesting actually I've had a play around with it and this is showing you what you get in the box the standard Leap Motion controller basically plugs into your Mac or PC and you can use that to uh, with various apps and things to play around by waving your hands in the air and it picks up the motion of your fingers and you can interact with windows in different ways and that but the focus of this is obviously the VR experience that, that offers because you they basically released an attachment and a couple of extension cords that allow you to attach the Leap Motion controller to the front of your HTC Vive or Oculus Rift and then replace the controllers with your hands so be able to use your hands in VR and it tracks your finger movement and your hand movement and it works really well and it shows the future of VR and the way it tracks motion within those games and the, the Leap Motion are pitching that they'll be able to integrate this tracking system into future headsets so help with manufacturers to create headsets that automatically track your hands so maybe you can ditch the controllers although for certain games it'd be pretty tricky but um, or maybe it could be an addition to it so you could control with one hand and move your hands with hands around with the other but the, the experience of being able to actually fully track your hands inside a game and be able to pick things up is pretty cool played around with a game called blocks while using this which basically allows you to create various blocks and move them around, pick them up, throw them about, um, interact with gravity, uh, things like that. It's really cool. It's hard, hard to do justice, really, but it's very awesome to be able to actually touch things in VR. Obviously, you don't get the tactile feedback at this point, but you can see that your hands are there and you're doing things with it. And it's, a, it's much more immersive than using controllers, and it sort of shows the future of this technology now, the installation is also really simple. Um, you've seen, I've done a video in the past on installing the wireless adapter from TPCast on the HTC Vive. That took quite a few steps, but actually installing Leap Motion is really easy. You get this dock to put on the front, which you have to stick to your HTC Vive. It sticks down, and then that holds the Leap Motion uh, controller inside there. And then you just basically attach a USB cable to it. And you get a USB extender cable as well as part of it. And then you can extend that off and then plug it into your PC. It does mean an additional wire for your Vive. And obviously if you've gone wireless, you then end up with a wire. So um, you can see I've got the original wired Vive here for the experiment. Um, but it's really it's dead easy to put together and it works really well as well. You just need to download a software, plug it in, it automatically recognises it. And then you load some of the experiences. There are a couple of games on Steam that already work with it. Um, big Screen uh, Beta currently works with it. There are some others which I'll link to in the description below. But then the main thing is the experiences and... Um, test examples that are available in the Leap Motion Gallery. Again, I'll link, I'll link to that so you can see the sorts of things that are available. And you will have seen um, Cat Explorer, but there's also a painting game, which I'll demonstrate in a video, and uh, Bricks, one where you can do various things. There's lots of different things to try out. Uh, at this stage, it's probably not going to you know, blow your mind in terms of game development and the games available for it, because it's limited at the moment. But it's a development kit, so it shows the future what could happen with it and it's an interesting way to take the leak motion because it's kind of a minority report style waving your hands in the air in windows thing but it also has the ability to just see what your hands are doing tracking your finger movements tracking your hand movements it really is really cool and um i've done a video on cat explorer to show you how it works 
how effective it is, how easy it is. And you can see things like making a fist and punching. It tracks it really well, unsurprising, because it's only this little box that straps onto the front of the front of the Vive. It doesn't rely on any extra trackers. Obviously, you still need the base stations that you have with the Vive. The usual setup, this is an additional extra, but it's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so this has been the Provoke Prawn. This is the Leap Motion Controller, the future of VR potentially. Hopefully we will see this sort of thing installed within future headsets rather than uh, an additional accessory to purchase. And hopefully developers will jump on it as well and get developing awesome bits of software and games and VR experiences to enjoy because it's a lot of fun. You can really see how awesome it's going to be. Installation is also a breeze at this point. So if you want to try it out, if you can see that they're not too expensive to buy, if you especially compared with some of the other accessories that are available for the Vive. So it's worth having a little play around with. I was really blown away by a couple of the experiences and, and the potential for it is really exciting. Thanks for watching. This has been the Provoke Prawn. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and come back for more in future. If you hated it, please let me know why in the comments. Uh, one person recently told me my voice is monotone and boring, which is a worthwhile comment, so I've been trying to mix it up a bit. Unfortunately, this is the voice I was born with, so if you hate it, I'm really sorry about that. I can't do anything about it. Cheers!